We have an innate sensation and feeling that um, uh, about our own fertility. And uh, for most women, we, one would know that if you have a regular menstrual cycle, that most likely you will be ovulating. Ovulation um, refers to release of an egg. And um, that would be one of the most important features, a regular menstrual cycle. The other um, aspects to take into account when you're questioning if you're fertile or not would be if there's any past history of uh, pelvic infections or if you have any other medical problems which are known to interfere with fertility. A very common problem nowadays is, uh, is obesity and certainly managing um, one's uh, weight is very important, uh, concentrating on good nutrition and making sure that one is within a normal weight category, not being too underweight or too overweight. Uh, so there are, no, there are no real natural hints as to if uh, a gentleman is, um, is fertile or non-fertile, and it normally is revealed when a couple embark on investigations and a semen analysis is done, and the semen profile, be it with regards to the volume, the count, or the way that the sperm are moving, otherwise known as motility, if those are uh, suboptimal, that's when we really discover if a gentleman is uh, fertile or not. Um, some men may have a hint that their fertility may be compromised if they've had to undergo any treatment for chronic illnesses or cancers, or if they've had any testicular inguinal surgery that might be of concern. So in, in the Western world, um, there's a trend towards starting a family later. Um, this later age of first conception is met with some difficulty in that your natural fertility de decreases with age. The optimum time in, in the Western world, I would suggest would be somewhere between 25 and 35 years of age. So there's a, there's a reasonable interval of 10 years uh, whereby a lady will have her peak fertility levels. Um, after the age of 35, fertility levels do tend to uh, decrease. This happens initially gradually and then accelerates after the age of 38 or 39. And certainly once uh, one is in their 40s that uh, decreased fertility levels are, are expected. If on a combined oral contraceptive pill or a hormonal product for contraceptive purposes, I would suggest that a reasonable time to stop prior to getting pregnant would be three months. This allows any exogenous hormones to be out of your system and also for your own natural cycle to, um, to start once again. Knowing your natural cycle will give you some idea of when you're ovulating and also when you're subsequently pregnant, well then we can predict the, 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 the duration of the pregnancy.